Hi! So now we'll be taking a look at how to install and configure OpenLM. But first, let's go over how it's configured on your system. So you probably got many different vendors supplying many different types of applications with licenses. Now all of them are located on a license server where all you need to do is simply install the OpenLM broker on that license server. This will in turn transmit information to the OpenLM core and in order to view the reports and the management information you simply log in using any device, using any web browser and you'll be able to see your reports. So let's see how to install the OpenLM to reach core functionality. So, I have a system right here and now we will install the OpenLM server. So what we'll need to do is simply double click on the installation file From here it's a simple click next installation, agree, next, next, next. It might ask for permissions once or twice. And then it simply starts installing the OpenLM server. Now the OpenLM server is installed on a dedicated server. For evaluation purposes, it can be installed on the license manager or just on a workstation just for evaluation purposes. Now, the OpenAlarm server should be fully installed in about a second. From here, we'll need to start the evaluation so click Start Evaluation. And if you have a license file supplied by sales of OpenLM, then you can simply choose the file and add it, or you can register to get a new file for a 30 days evaluation. But I have a license file, so I'll click Choose File, get my license file, click Open, Next, Approve, and now it compiles the license file, and that's it. It asks me if I want to configure now, so I can click that, and it will open the OpenLM Server Configuration Tool. So what did we do? We actually installed the OpenLM Server, the core product this part. Now we'll go over and install the OpenLM broker, this part. So now we're going to the license server itself. So I'll open up my license server right here, log into it, and in order to install the broker all I need to do is double click and I want to install a new instance in this case because I have a few brokers here. Click Next. I agree. Next. Choose the folder you want it to be saved to. Click Next. Next. And now the OpenLM broker is installed. It takes it less than 30 seconds and it finishes its installation process. Once it is installed, we'll need to go to the search, type in broker, or if we cannot find our broker, we can go to start button, scroll to OpenLM, and open the broker that we want. So now 
it's trying to automatically detect all the different ports and all the different vendors I have on this machine. So it's going through RMS, it's going to FlexLM, all the different types. Now we got two parts here, OpenLM servers and license servers. So it found the license server, which is this machine, but it did not find the OpenLM server. This you have to input manually. So simply click on OpenLM servers, add OpenLM server, and let's point it to the right direction. So we installed the OpenLM server on Win10 demo. So we'll check connectivity, give it all the access that it needs, and it says that server connected successfully. Let's try that again. Successful. Click apply and restart broker. Now that's it. We're done with the OpenLM broker. Now all we have left to do is go to the OpenLM server and configure this broker so we'll be able to see it. So going back to the OpenLM server machine, we can minimize this. We'll click Start, go to OpenLM, and click on the User Interface. And here we can see the OpenLM User Interface which is web-based connecting to the local host right here. But if I want to access it from another machine, I just change the name to the machine name. So let's hit enter. And we can also connect using the machine name. Now, let's minimize alerts. Let's minimize feature usage status. And now I see I have two new red lines right here. Now these lines, if we go back to the broker machine and open up the license server that it found, it found two ports. Both of them are FlexLM. One of them is MATLAB and the other is Autodesk. So let's minimize this for now and go back to the OpenLM user interface. All we need to do is simply click approve and then we'll get the server descri description. We'll just give it a name, the server, and it will be described as MATLAB. Now we can approve the second one. and it will be described as Autodesk. Now we see that we're still not getting the right information and we have an alert right here telling us that we need to restart the OpenLM server service. So we can either go to the services and restart OpenLM service or we can open up the configuration tool and just click apply and restart now. It will restart the OpenLM server service. Now here you can see that all the configurations are already set. If you go to the interface we see that now it's green, but it will turn red and it will take it a while to get all the information. Anywhere between two and three minutes until the license servers become online in the OpenLM interface. Meanwhile, let's see the OpenLM broker and let's check out all its configurations. 
minimizing this, going to the OpenLAN broker, we can see the different configurations in here. So if we want to check them, first we'll need to see that we got the right host name, the right port, the correct license manager type, and here it should point to your license file. So if I show a license file, this is the vendor supplied license file. It holds how many licenses you have, which licenses, and which licenses are within which packages. Now under status and data inquiry, we'll need to see that we point to the LMUtil, but the LMUtil of the license manager, not the LMUtil of OpenLM. Also, under log files, make sure that you have this log and this points to the debug log. If you don't have that, just click debug log files, click add log file, and it will add a new file. And same goes for port 810. Check the type, check the license, check the status, the data inquiry, and change it if needed. Check the, check the log files right here. And there's also the options file which you can fill in. Now I don't have it filled in, but you can add the path to the options file and OpenLM will incorporate that as well. Now going back to our interface, let's expand that. And that's it. Now we can see that it's all green. We see uptime right here. We see we are seeing the quantity. Currently I have no usage, so I'm not seeing that. And that's it. Let's take a look at the server configurations now. We took a look at the broker configurations. Let's take a look at the server configurations. So what do we need to check here? First of all, we need to check that the host name here and in the broker are the same. We have to check that the time zone is the same as on the broker machine, that the type is the same. And lastly, if you are using a broker, then this should not be checked. If you're not using a broker, for example, you're not able to install a broker on the license server, then this should be checked. This means that OpenLM server bypasses the OpenLM broker completely. And right here, if you are reading a license file, meaning that if we go back to the broker, and check under port, there is the license file. So this is the license file in question. When the OpenLM server has your read license file checked, that means that you are using a broker and that you do have this configured right here. And this is it. You see that installing OpenLM is very simple, it's very quick, and it's very easy. Thank you very much.